Hi, I'm Tommaso Fornaciari and I'm presenting Bussa. Bussa is an open source library which is meant to help NLP researchers to carry out some common tasks in their experimental designs, that is, to measure the performance of different models and to compute the significance test uh, concerning the difference in performance between these models. So this is a task that uh, as an NLP researcher I often uh, found uh, relatively difficult or tedious and uh, with my colleagues we built this tool that is meant to make this uh, uh, task easier. So what you can do with Bootsa? Uh, Bootsa is basically meant to uh, measure metrics for hard labels and soft labels in, so in uh, supervised scenarios. For hard labels we mean the typical uh, labels of the classification tasks uh, normally represented as one not encoded um, vectors that is uh, um, they represent the probability distribution between different classes as something which is a certain so one class is true and the others the other or the others are false in case of soft labels you still have a number of different classes but you don't have a 100 percent uh, uh, certain truth gold standard but you have a probability distribution so you in this case you are taking care of the um, intrinsic ambiguity of some instances that can be not necessarily for sure uh, belonging to one class or another but rather having a probability of falling in one class rather than another and you want to compute uh, the significant test uh, between different models and in this case we uh, apply uh, bootstrap sampling significance test so concerning the metrics we use uh, standard metrics for uh, uh, hard labels like uh, accuracy, precision, recall and that measures. In the case of soft labels the uh, agreement in literature is not so uh, commonly shared by all the researchers, it's a bit more difficult to evaluate soft labels. Uh, we use some uh, uh, metrics that uh, are considered uh, reliable, uh, I mean cross-entropy, Jensen-Shannon divergence, ent entropy similarity and entropy correlation. Uh, for a better explanation of these variables, uh, uh, I um, uh, point you to the learning from disagreement a survey uh, paper that uh, gives uh, more, some more uh, explanation that go beyond the scope of this presentation. Um, concerning bootstrap uh, sampling, it's a test that you probably know and it is based on the idea of drawing uh, different, repeatedly different test set, uh, subsampling um, instances from the test set. So when you run bootstrap sampling, you have two hyperparameters that you have to define. The number of iteration is actually an easy hyperparameter in the sense that simply the more the better. The subsample size is actually a bit more tricky. Basically, it is unsafe to select a subsample size too small or too big with respect to the whole test set. Because what you want is something that reproduces the population distribution. And if it is too small, the sample, this could not be the case. But also, if it is too big, you are just copying your test set data. And in this case, the um, results could be artificially too high. For this reason, we set up some safely safety constraints in uh, our uh, library that does not allow you and it helps you to prevent misuse does not allow you to select subsample size that are below the five percent or above the fifty percent of the whole test set so let's go to see how the library works first the assumptions the assumption is that you have your supervised um, 
methods and data set. In your data set, you have your targets. This means your true classes of your data, uh, also called the gold standard. And also you have predictions. Predictions that can come from your baseline or control models. So your hypothesis zero, the H zero or uh, from your experimental model or your treatment if you want to use a terminology which is uh, more familiar for psychologists which is your h1 hypothesis actually you can have more than one uh, uh, experimental uh, hypothesis so you can have an h1 h2 h3 and so on and so forth and you can manage all of them uh, with the BUSA and you can also have also different controls and all this condition complex condition can be managed with BUSA so getting started you can see that you can uh, simply install uh, uh, the package from uh, PyPy and uh, in your script you import uh, the library and you create uh, a, a bootstrap instance the easiest uh, use case is uh, just to provide your uh, targets and predictions to your bootstrap test function. Uh, as we said, you can provide targets, prediction from your control, and prediction from your treatment, your H1. Um, as input, you can provide a string which is interpreted by the library as uh, the path to your text file that contains your uh, output or you can uh, directly um, put your variables um, and they can be simple lists or uh, numpy arrays you can give a name to your models and decide your hyperparameters, so the number of loops and the sample size. And you can decide if to print uh, more or less details. You can run the uh, test function and immediately get the results. You might also have a more complex scenario where you run different experimental conditions and for each experimental condition you may run several uh, experiments in this case you want first of all to store your results into your instance for this you use the feed function that uh, allows you to uh, collect the data from your h0 hypothesis this is a string that allows you to give a name to your control hypothesis and you using the same function you can also uh, upload the H1 uh, results and every time you upload an experimental condition you have also to say to which control condition you want to compare the results so you can have many control condition and many experimental condition the only important thing is that when you uh, upload an experimental condition you also indicate which is the control condition that you want to compare with and for each of them you can have several runs of experiments so for each ex experiment in the same condition you can uh, indicate your id which helps you to put together several runs of experiments and of course you can add your variables as predictions and targets and uh, in this case you don't have strings but you have directly the uh, variables that are uh, taken by the models once you have done you can uh, just uh, uh, stop the process you don't have here any output but you can resume the process just loading what you have saved with the function loadjson every time you feed the model you are saving a json file that contains the results so you can resume your process with your experiments and go go ahead in the same way and when you have done finally you can run the uh, run function which gives you the output to give you an example this is an output 
an example of output for uh, uh, hard labels. So you have the performance of each model, H0 and H1, you have the difference and you have the significance levels. So that's all for the presentation. I thank you a lot for your attention and uh, if you have any doubt, uh, feel free to get in touch. Thanks.